What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of not starting and not launching properly issue you're currently having with uh, Ready or Not. So stick it to the end, stick to the end guys. This will be a step by step tutorial and in the end you'll probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that, that I would really, really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys. You would support my work in YouTube a little bit, a little bit and I'm gonna really, really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say, let's get right started. So for the first step, it's really important to start your task manager by using your shortcut or simply navigating down to your task bar, right clicking it and opening up your task manager. What I want you to do next is going to be to navigate to the top left corner, sticking that click onto processes, just ensure that you're sticking around them. And uh, the next step is going to be to click one of those random processes, doesn't really matter which one. And once you clicked it, I want you to type in R just to find ready or not. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, just simply right click and end this task. Once you're finished with that, I want you to enter task manager and the next step is going to be to take your seam or your ready or not shortcut on your desktop. And if you don't have it on the desktop, simply navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen and use the Windows search function in order to find it. So once you found it, just simply drag it onto your desktop. Let's quickly come back, take it. You're going to right click it and go down with the very button where it says properties. Afterwards, click into compatibility and simply type in what I'm going to type in or just copy my settings. Let's quickly run through it. Compatibility mode enable, run this program in compatibility mode 4, select Windows 8. Uh, disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator. Afterwards, hit apply and OK. Um, afterwards, I would uh, recommend you to restart your PC. Once it is restarted, you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right on your shortcut. What I want you to do next is going to be to double click it, so simply start it and launch your game over the launcher. This will probably fix your issue. That's it for the video, guys. I hope that I could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.